Hey, what's going on? Josh Noel from premiumbeat.com and in this After Effects tutorial, we're gonna create a pair of corporate titles. Thank you for joining us today. So there are tons of different designs you can create when you are designing titles to be overlaid on your video. So maybe you're doing like a corporate video and you need to display some information, maybe in the center of the screen, maybe a lower third. Um, but there's tons of different designs, but we'll be focusing on the two designs that you saw in the demo. However, if you don't have the time and these project files will not do for you, what I suggest doing is head over to rocketstock.com and there's a few templates on here that could potentially suit your needs if you're in a time crunch. But let's create a new composition by clicking on this new composition button here at the bottom, which looks like a film strip. And we'll call this one title tut one. And I'm using 1920 by 1080. Of course, this should vary depending on what type of footage you're using or really what you're trying to go for. But then we'll click OK. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the textile tool. And what we can do is enable title saves by going down to this crosshair and click on title action safe. And this will give us an idea where the center of the screen is and if we need to offset some you know, text on here. But let's come here right to the middle and we'll type out our first title, which I'll just type out corporate. And I'm going to use the typeface Helvetica and I'm going to switch my font here to regular. And what I'm going to do is just maybe set the paragraph here down to uh, center text. And I'm going to go up to window align. And we're going to go ahead and just center this text up. If I have to, I can come here and just, you know, increase the size of the text by a little bit. Okay, so then we're going to make sure our text layer is selected and go up to edit, duplicate. And we're going to create a subtitle. I'll just bring this down by a touch. And we'll go back to our text title tool. And we'll click in here and we'll type in uh, maybe titles. And then we'll set this uh, font to uh, light. And we'll maybe we'll make this a touch smaller. So now we have a subtitle and a main title. So maybe you're introducing your video at the beginning here. So you have the main title of a subtitle, you know. Um, but we'll come here, maybe try to center this up as best as we can. And then let's go grab the rectangle tool right here at the top and right from the center. Let's hold down command on a Mac or control on a PC and kind of draw out a nice rectangle like this. Let's kind of keep the rectangle, you know, in the middle of the titles there. So when you draw out a shape layer for the first time, uh, you get this nice little block here. What you need to do is go click on the word fill and set that to none. And then click on the word stroke and set that to a uh, solid color. And you can change the uh, size of the uh, border here at the top. I'm going to set it to 5px. And we'll come here back to our selection tool here at the top. And we can kind of drag out the top here by a touch and maybe reposition this. And we kind of, like I said, we want this bottom part to be in the middle of our subtitle like that. And then what we're going to do is go to our shape layer here. And we're going to click on the arrow next to the word add. And we're going to add a trim paths. And we'll go right into the trim paths. And we can go ahead and increase the start by a touch and then increase the offset and we'll kind of try to match this up in the center like this maybe you know decrease the start by a little bit and re offset this okay so that's uh, pretty much aligned um, of course make sure your main title is as centered as possible in the box here and your subtitle just make sure it's kind of like right there in the middle of our cutout box and let's animate this box to come on from nothing so let's add a keyframe for start and end and let's move these keyframes to one second. So we'll kind of keep the animation all at one second for every animation that we do. And we'll go back to the beginning. And then we'll come here and we'll increase the start all the way to like the middle point, which is right up there. And then also do the same thing for the end, bring that right to the middle point right there. So this will animate on straight from the beginning. And let's select all these keyframes just like this. And let's hit F9 on our keyboard to create an easy ease keyframe. So basically that means the animation will speed up and you know slow down instead of coming to a direct stop or a direct start. So this looks pretty cool and we can just rename this layer to uh, line box. Let's go to the beginning of our timeline and let's go to our subtitle layer and let's hit P on our keyboard for position. Let's add a keyframe for position, bring that keyframe to one second and let's just offset our title to come on maybe just like this. And let's go to our main title here, hit P on our keyboard for position, add a keyframe, move that keyframe forward to one second, and we'll just animate this maybe down like this. 
So now we'll kind of have this weird animation, but no worries. We'll go ahead and we'll perfect this. So let's make sure our subtitle layer is selected and let's go up to layer pre-compose and we can call this uh, composition subtitle tut one and we'll click okay. And let's pre-compose our main title just like we did for our subtitle. And we'll call this one main title tut one and that's good. And all we're gonna do is grab the rectangle tool here and we're gonna create a nice little mask. So we'll kind of go to our main title here and just mask this on like this. So now if we come here, as you can see, the text will kind of come on from right there. We might need to go back into our you know composition here and just bring this down by a little bit. And we'll go back into our main comp there. And as you can see, this will just come up, pop up just like that. And it looks pretty decent, looks good. And let's go to our subtitle here and we'll do the same exact thing. So We'll just create a mask right along the, you know, the uh, line right here. And if we have to, we can go to our selection tool and kind of just select these two vertices here and just bring that in by a touch. So now that's pretty interesting. And we'll need to go to our subtitle box here and we might need to subtract that depending on how you did the mask. But now we'll kind of have that and let's go ahead and offset our subtitle by almost like a second or so. So now this will come on and then our subtitle will come on. Maybe we'll just bring us to a second almost. Yeah, that can be pretty good. And we can go back into our um, main title and subtitle here. Let's make both the position keyframes and easy as keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Forgot to do that. So that's looking pretty decent. Okay, so let's say if you need to make this bigger, um, what we can do is go up to layer, new, null object, and we can parent all of our layers to the null object here and just hit S on our keyboard for scale and scale this up. That's just in case you need to make it a little bigger so you don't have to tweak everything. And then let's go ahead and hit this rasterize icon here, right here in the middle. So we have those perfect uh, you know, details so it's not getting pixelated. So let's say we want to animate this entire title out. So to save some time, what I suggest doing is go ahead and pre-compose everything except for you know, your video footage or background if you want to composite that with your main title. Go up to layer, pre-compose, and we can call this one uh, title main title tut maybe all if you want and all we're going to do is go to maybe like three seconds or so and we'll go to edit split layer and we'll delete the splitter layer and we'll go make sure our main composition here selected and go up to edit duplicate and then we're going to right click our duplicated layer go to time and time reverse layer and then we'll just offset this to you know the gap here so these are perfectly spliced in and basically it will just animate out so if you need to speed this up or anything go ahead and just maybe shorten these down by a little bit and just reconnect them and this is kind of probably not the absolute best way to do it but it's definitely the most efficient way if you're looking to save some time which i think we would all like to do pretty awesome you're done with this title let's move on to another title let's create a new composition and i'll call this one title Tut two, and this one we're gonna do a little bit more of an actual, I guess, info title sort of thing, and we're gonna keep it very subtle and clean, obviously. So I'm gonna come here and just copy this background and paste it into here, so we have something nice to look at. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to back to our textile tool, type out our text. This time we use a uh, same thing, corporate title. Maybe this one we'll do like a, a bolder look. And if we need to make it just a touch bigger and what's really important is keep the paragraph to left align text and this all might depend on what you're doing but you want to think about how you want to align the text because if you need to make a change uh, you don't want it to like jump around and you have to reposition everything so we're gonna do we're gonna focus more on left alignment this time last time we were doing middle alignment this time left alignment and we'll come here just maybe duplicate our text and you know come here maybe set this to Helvetica light all right, and then there's my text, and maybe we can make it just a touch smaller if we have to. And if you need to change the line spacing at all, you can come here to the leading here, and you can always change the line height, and that's pretty decent. And we'll kind of bunch this up, so make sure these are basically aligned together if we have to. Select both the layers here and go to the Align tab, and we can just align those by clicking the uh, left Align button right here, the horizontal left alignment. And let's grab the Pen tool. And let's click a point down here. Hold down shift to click a straight point. And we'll go all the way to the end of our body text here. And make sure to continue holding down shift. And we'll kind of create this nice little, 
I don't know, right angle almost, these nice two lines, and that will kind of create some separation for what we're doing. Maybe we'll move the corporate title up just by a touch, and we'll go back into our shape layer of one here. We'll just call this one, uh, I guess, line. Go to contents, go to add, and we'll add a trim paths. Go in the trim paths, we'll add a keyframe for end, and we'll bring the keyframe forward by, in time by like a second, and then we'll bring the end percentage down to 0%. So now let's animate on, make both keyframes, uh, easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And now basically we're gonna animate the titles exactly like we did before, but I was just showing you guys a different design here. Hit P on your keyboard for corporate title, go to the beginning here, add a keyframe for position, bring that keyframe forward in time by like, at like a second. And we can animate this down here like this. And we'll go ahead for our body text here, add a keyframe for position, bring that keyframe forward in time as well. And we'll just really offset this you know, maybe over here. So once again, we'll have that very weird, you know, sort of setup there. But we'll come here and pre-compose each title. We'll call it one main title for two. I don't know. And we'll come here to our uh, body text, pre-compose that. And we'll call it body text two. And so far looking good. And we'll go back to the rectangle tool for our main title. Go ahead and just draw a big rectangle mask like this. And now that comes on just like that. And same thing for our body text. Just cover that up like so. And then we can come here and maybe offset our two titles here. Maybe offset the body title a little bit more. So the main title comes on first. So we have that. And maybe we can just bring these forward here by a touch. And then if we want to save some time, if we want to reverse this effect, just pre-compose everything, call it main title to all. Click OK. Go ahead and split the layer delete the duplicate layer, duplicate this layer, right click it, go to time, time reverse layer, and we'll offset this in time. And now we have this animation in and animation out. Now, of course, you might want to enable motion blur for all your layers. So we might need to go back into here and just animate, you know, our motion blur or sorry, add motion blur for each of our titles here. So it'll kind of blend in a little bit nicer and look pretty good. And of course, make sure to enable motion blur here at the top. And as you see, we got some nice motion blur in there. And of course, maybe you want to go back into your main title one here and add motion blur for each of those layers as well. And really the only thing you need to add motion blur are to the actual uh, layers that have keyframes. But other than that, you should be good to go. So if you were following along with this video and you should have gotten a first title just like this and you know, that looks pretty good and I like it, I would use it. And for title two, you should have gotten something kind of like this. And like I said at the beginning of the video, there's a ton of different designs that you can come up for this sort of thing. You really just gotta think about, you know, what works for your video and how can you make it professional. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more tutorials, please be sure to check out our blog at premiumbeat.com. And if you're in the need for royalty-free music, we have a huge library full of great music for your projects. So if you have the time, I invite you to check us out at premiumbeat.com. And once again, thank you for watching this video. And this has been Joshua Noel from premiumbeat.com.